everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be talking about 10 clever closet organizational tips that I think will change your life. These tips and tricks are so good. Nobody ever talks about them, but I really think they make such a huge difference, and it doesn't matter what size your closet is, you can apply these, and every day, your life will be easier. It's amazing. So, if you've never subscribed to my channel before, maybe you've never even seen me before, I'm Shay. Hello. Um, consider subscribing down below, it's a red button, but otherwise, let's get started. The very first tip I have for you guys is super instant, it just makes such a big difference and it's really cheap, and that is to actually change your light bulbs. And I don't mean change your light bulbs to keep up with home maintenance. No, I actually mean go out and buy light bulbs that are on the Kelvin scale between four and five thousand. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with light bulbs, but there is a Kelvin scale, and if it's more on the lower, warm side, that's usually between, it's usually around 2000 something. That just, that just casts off a more yellow hue and you don't really notice it until you change your light bulbs to something between four and 5,000. And between four and 5,000 is more on the blue or cool side, which sounds a little scary. And honestly, as soon as you change them, you might think, oh, this looks kind of weird, but just give it a day or so and you'll realize that it's much more of a real daylight look and it just really brightens up your closet. It feels more happy happy, it really makes your, your colors in your closet look more true. It's just, it's just a great kind of revival of your closet. And I'm telling you guys, you just need to do it. It'll make a big difference. Number two is to actually invest in completely matching hangers for your entire closet. I know this is kind of annoying because you have to like throw out all of your just fine and dandy hangers that totally work, but just getting matching colored and even the hardware matching just really creates a very, very uniform and organized look. It's so easy, it's kind of annoying like I said, but I just, I can't even tell you how much of a difference it made for me. And these are from HSN, I can link them down below. I really recommend them, they never break. I have ones from um, Walmart, TJ Maxx, you can really find cheap versions everywhere, but they just always break. And, and these are just great. Um, but also I wanted to mention, this is kind kind of like a little bonus piggybacking off of this tip, but make sure your clothes are going all in the same direction. So the rule of thumb is if you are right-handed, you want all of your clothes pointing towards the left and vice versa. If you're left-handed, you want all of your clothes pointing towards the right. And, and that's just because if you're right-handed, you'll pull out the clothes and the, the piece of clothing will automatically be facing you. So it's, it's just like a simple thing to do. It takes a little time to switch everything, but if you keep it up, it just makes your life easier. Number three is a tip that I'm not gonna spend too much time on because it, it is actually something that uh, people do talk a lot about, so I'm sorry, but it is important, so I wanted to say it, and that is to organize your closet by color. This, just you just should do it, it's so, it just looks aesthetically pleasing, and when you're looking for a top or you're like, oh man, a red shirt would look great with this, you know exactly where to go and you have you know your little selection there, organized well. Um, if, if you have a big enough closet, I also suggest that you organize first by type and then by color. So for instance, I have a section of sweaters here. I have a lot of neutral tone sweaters. <laughs> I really like them. Um, and then it just moves on to short sleeve shirts. And, and again, within those genres, everything is organized by color. Number four is such a good tip. I love this tip. And it's to actually have a basket full of closet essentials. And you're probably like, what the heck is that? Let me show you. I keep mine right in here. And here it is. So here's a basket. I, I picked this little basket up from Target for like $4. And I keep a lot of things in here that I just need to get ready. They come in very handy. So I've got a lint roller. I've got scissors for if I get new clothes, I can just cut the tag. I've got double-sided tape. That's great for like taping your bra. Um, maybe your shirt look, is looking weird and, and just it's go for double-sided tape. It, it's very useful. Um, I also have a little um, snag puller. So this is great for sweaters or tops that have a snag. You can go in from behind and pull pull out the snag, I've got a tie to go pen. It's just great having everything in one spot rather than running all throughout the house. You can keep this on a shelf, you can keep it maybe in a drawer somewhere, it really doesn't matter, but just having everything in one spot, it's just good. Okay, so this next trick is having a basket filled with your handbag essentials. And this is great for anybody that likes to switch out their handbags. Maybe not every single day, but just, 
if, if you're a handbag lover out there, you will appreciate this tip. And I do wanna give a big shout out to Lux Mommy here on YouTube. I got this trick from her channel years ago and I've been using it ever since. So I just have a basket filled with my day-to-day -day essentials that I must have in my bag. So I've got my wallet here. I've got a six ring key holder. This, these are all of my keys. I've got floss. I am floss obsessed. I've got sunglasses. I've got my favorite chapstick. So these are things that I must carry. And when I'm picking out my outfit or picking out a new bag, I just grab all of my essentials and they are easily switched to the new bag. So it's just great. You guys should try it if you're a handbag lover like me. Next, we're gonna talk about some drawer organizers. So we're going back this way. Okay, so number six is drawer organizers. So as you can see, these are my bras. I don't normally show this, but I just wanted you to see how pretty and organized and neat drawer organizers can make your items. So I got these from the container store. They're fabric and they're just they're just really nice. They come in so many different shapes and sizes. I can link them down below. Um, I have them in this drawer and then I also have them down here, which are my underwear. And it's just sometimes when you open up the drawer, it just feels good when things look nice. And, and sometimes that's all, that's all that matters. And I actually have other drawer organizers for my jewelry, which is the next point. So up here we have my two drawers of jewelry. Now I'm fully aware that most people don't have enough space to have drawer organizers of jewelry, but some people do have a little stand of jewelry or maybe a jewelry box of jewelry. And my main point in this is to really just get rid of all the jewelry that you never wear. And guys, I, I know you guys are out there watching this video and you have so much stuff that you've accumulated over the last maybe 10 years that you never touch. So I really went through all of mine and honestly, I have a lot of space. I have this drawer too and it's very, very empty. I only keep what I absolutely love and it's mostly Miranda Fry jewelry and the stuff that's more on the expensive side that I pretty much never take off and that's what I wear. So I do have this and this, this necklace actually is from her new spring collection. I love it. Can you tell how sparkly it is? Um, I can link it down below. There's a, there's a coupon code. You can use Shay, get 10% off. Just get rid of the jewelry that you don't wear. And so when you pick out your jewelry in the morning, you're wearing what you love and it's not overwhelming. Okay, so this next tip is super cool. It's to have a special place for your outfit of the day or, or week, honestly. And I have this really cool hook here. I love it. It doesn't have to be this fancy, but every day I pick out my outfit of the day and it's really nice to just have this special spot. It makes picking out my clothes a lot more fun. And sometimes I even get crazy and I pick out my clothes for the entire week. Now, you don't have to have that. You could just go out and get a couple command hooks if you don't have enough space. And guys, they make command hooks so much better than they used to. They hold so much weight now and they are so pretty. They come in so many different shapes and sizes. This is a silver one. They come in bronze. I mean, you really can go wild with the command hooks. So find a special spot for your outfit of the day. Number nine is a full length mirror. Now I know that not everybody has space in their actual closet for a full length mirror, but I'm willing to bet you all at least have a a door, maybe a door to your closet, maybe a door to your bedroom, and you can hang it on the back. And guys, I went so long, many years actually, without having a full length mirror. And I would just imagine kind of like in my head what my outfit looked like, I would look down, and it just, it just wasn't the same. And as soon as I finally bought a full length mirror, it made such a difference. So I know there's some of you out there that still don't have one, and guys, they're so inexpensive these days. Just go out and get one, hang it on the back of your door, put it in the corner somewhere. Uh, you will thank me later, I promise. Okay, so we are finally on to number 10. Comment down below if you made it this far. But number 10, the last point, is perfect for the end because it's finding a perfect spot or maybe even a beautiful decorative spot or tray filled with your last minute or icing on the cake touches for your outfit. So here's my tray and I have my deodorant, I have my perfume, and then I have my favorite lip balm, the Cicera Haps Lip Slip, I'm obsessed. And it's, it's just nice having, again, everything in one spot right before I wanna walk out the door. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.